This week's video is sponsored by Fiverr. What is happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and you are watching Canada! And this week we're exploring the incredibly sunny, the incredibly beautiful Lewis and Harris. Scotland has been a dream trip so far. We've driven the loop of the NC500, visited Aberdeen and the stunning Cairngorms, and we also explored the gorgeous Isle of Skye. It's been a mixture of extreme excitement. Oh. <laughs> Soaking up the culture. <laughs> Wild swimming. <laughs> we've been blown away by the sights and by the wind. And we've experienced it all on the road in our bus named Custard. But it hasn't all been smooth sailing. Button down the hatches, Craig! There's a storm coming! Oh my god! The middle! <laughs> <laughs> but what it has been is a proper adventure. When we came to Scotland, we had already agreed that if we were going to see it, we wanted to see it properly. So this week, we decided to hop on a boat, head over to Lewis and Harris, and have our first taste of the Outer Hebrides. How are we doing, driver? I'm okay. You'll be fine, babes. I'm just gonna do an eeny, meeny, miny, mo on uh, which travel sickness <laughs> tablet. An, an, an anxiety tablet. My anxiety's through the roof right now. So we're about to get the boat. So we're in Uig at the minute, which is like the furthest you can drive to get the shortest amount of boat time because obviously I get really travel sick, so uh, I'm just not feeling great. Love your wig, babes. Oh yeah, Harriette has come back out to play. I've never worn her straight. She looks great. Thanks. Nice fleece. Where'd you get that from? Yeah, this is, uh, this is a friend's. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like shaving his clothes, even though he wears mine all the time. So the boat's gonna take an hour and 40, and I just feel like I'm gonna die on it. You gonna shake yourself now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you on the flip side, because he's drowsy, so you might have to carry me. I took a pill in custard <laughs> to show Greggy I was good. I know, these are actually, <laughs> these are sent to us by one of our followers, so it could well be ecstasy. <laughs> All right, so so listen to me now, okay? When we get on there, seat, please. you find me a spot on the floor in the corner and you get me a sick bag, okay? You'll be fine. That's, that's the plan of action, okay? All right, I mean, we can do that, but I think we're going to be fine. Although Amy was pretty nervous, we were both very excited to take Custard on her first ever boat trip. We just couldn't wait to be heading to a new island to explore, and it almost felt like we were going on holiday. I'm buzzing for this, I can't wait. Some people say you can spot dolphins and whales off the boat, so fingers oh, crossed. Oh really? Yeah. Get out on the deck here, it'd be better if you got there anyway. Better for me to spew over the boat than on the yeah, boat, I can, suppose. You can feed the seals then. <laughs> The boat was easy. It was a calm and relaxing trip with no signs of travel sick Tracy, thank God. It cost us £60 one way and even though we spent most of the time freezing our butts off on the top deck, we got to relax, watch the open waters and anticipate what the next few days would bring. There she is. <laughs> travel sick Tracy hasn't shown up today which is great news. So I'm ready for the dolphins and the whales to come whenever you're ready while I'm not spewing. Would, would be great for you to turn up now. <laughs> So we've got our front row seat to the ocean, look at this. Come on, wiggle your feet. <laughs> Although it's called Lewis and Harris, it's actually just one island. It has over 4,000 freshwater locks, and a few years ago it was named by the Guinness Book of Records as the windiest place in the UK. And we were about to feel its wrath. Okay, we've made it. And we've got a wicked little park up right on the beach. 
so far so good. We haven't had any hassle. A lot of people like smiling and waving, so. It's a big green bus though, isn't it? Big green bus, <laughs> big green cluster bus. So we don't know what, um, we don't know where we are. We've chosen the first park for night uh, spot on the app that we can find. It does have a, you should pay X amount for staying the night on a little stick board thing over there, but somebody's crossed it out very angrily. So I'm not sure what to do about that. It's the West Harris Trust though, so it's, a, it's like an official park up, which is really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. So yeah, there's not much happening. I feel like my travel sickness tablets are still kicking in. And, you did uh, well, babe. I'm gonna go for a nap, <laughs> that's okay. So dinner and bed then, and we'll catch you in the AM. So this is where we slept last night. We're right on this mad little beach lock. I don't know how you would describe it. But the tide comes all the way up to there, it rushes in. When we woke up this morning, there was like five sheep stranded on this little island because they'd gone over there when the tide was out and then the tide came in and they were stuck. Bless them. Mad spot, we had a little bit of sunshine just now so we're going to head to a beach. Hopefully the sun's going to come out for us. But we're just going to have a wicked time. Here she is, enjoying a little banana by herself. I don't usually eat bananas, but um, I'm trying not to eat cakes for breakfast and trying not to be such a fat bap. Anymore? In the mornings? <laughs> well, it's it's crazy because like it's so windy and dark so soon and cold outside. I ain't getting out there for a run. I ain't getting out there to do any kind of exercise. Not that I would anyway, but this is more of an excuse, you know? So I'm making us some coffees. The first beach, right, Craig? Is, right. Is supposed to be one of the best beaches in the world. Oh, baby. I mean, how many countries can say that, really? It's called Luskintyre Beach, and apparently it's got white sands and white wild horses. Oh my god, that sounds like a dream. I know. So, uh, that's the first stop. Let's just get some coffee to keep our bellies warm. I've got some whiskey in that coffee, love, eh? <laughs> eh? So, so far. Thank you so much for all the recommendations from Craig. Well, thank you, but not thank you, because we're going to be bankrupt very soon. But he's got the monkey shoulder. He's had that for about two days. That's what's happened. Smash the lads, that's don't worry about me. And then the Glen Fidditch, the number 12, age 12 years. So apparently the car park only holds 12 cars, so make sure you're here early. Um, not a problem in November. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. You're welcome. Don't just do it for the vlog. Oh, look at that big piece by there. Oh, she, she's lovely, she is. I've got my swimmers on, because I don't know about you, but I'm going for a swim, mate. Oh, uh, I, I just... I'm a wild, wild swimmer, me. <laughs> I'm a wild guy. They call me Wild Willy. <laughs> you got a new bag, yeah? You an influencer, yeah? I've got a new bag. <laughs> they didn't pay you to talk about it on the channel, so keep walking. There's a dog that's come down here, so let's go. Look at the backdrop! Look at that North Northern Harris Mountain in the backdrop. Did you just Google that? Yeah, no, no. That's incredible. Look at the state of it. Gorgeous. Oh wow, look at this. Look at the colour of the sand. <gasps> Amazing. Could be Australia. Jimmy. This is Scotland. Oh my God, it was if he knew we were coming, there's a seal and he is so close. Like if you, if you went in there now, Craig, you could swim with him. If he didn't chomp you. Oh, I love it. I think I was gonna go for a swim, but it looks like there's rain coming and Amy doesn't want to get wet, so. Oh, is this excuse time? Oh, no. Also, I don't want to get eaten by a seal. Oh, the seal disappeared like so fast before we could even get any footage of him, but he was gorgeous and he had a lovely round head. <laughs> a bit like you. <laughs> a bit like myself. This place is gorgeous though. It really is like magic. So clean and so peaceful. The colors are just outstanding. I could live here. The scary thing about Scotland is because the landscape is so vast, you can see the rain come in. Yeah. 
so you can see it like approaching in the distance and it's like i'm coming for you mate whereas i'm like how long have we got craig and he's like oh eta six minutes we better <laughs> be like, quick six minutes <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's quite rare to have a beach with like a, a mount, such a mountainous backdrop. And it's, yeah, it is so beautiful. And it's so peaceful here as well. And I can imagine when the, when the tide is right up and the sun comes out, it would just look incredible. We left our coffee cups down there, rock, paper, scissors to see who gets them. Three, two, one. <laughs> you, you lose no, 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 you can't bloody cheat like that, go. Three, two, one, go. Ta Best of three. Ta -ta Best of three. No, no, no. Ta -ta one all. Off you go. Three. The next stop on our itinerary was the Golden Road. This road shows Harris's most spectacular scenery via its single track road, mini fjords, and raw backdrop. This is a road like no other that I've ever seen. It's incredible. It looks like we're just plodding along on the top of Mars. Just a beautifully little clean cut road in the center of another planet, basically. <laughs> With little puff cloud balls of sheep just like stuck in the side of most of the cliffs. There's like sheer drops off the side of the road straight into a beautiful lock that I would just love to just get out and just plop into. Everything, like the colours and everything at this time of the year is just gorgeous. Mental. The roads are because they're really narrow and it's like really up and down. But it's just like, yeah, I've never been anywhere, anywhere before that looks like this at all. Tonight's menu, we've got some Blue Dragon Pad Thai. If you've ever seen these kits, I'll tell you what, the ramen version of this. Woo, baby. I made me pants, Craig, don't show the people, I made me pants. It turned out to be a super rainy, horrible evening. So um, we found the park up on a hill. I'm gonna cook some dinner, and we're gonna watch a film. How about that? Sounds lovely. You're a spoiled cow, aren't you? <laughs> It's so cosy in this bus though, now it's becoming like winter winter. We've always got the heater on, cheap Chinese diesel heater, works for us, works a treat. So yeah, it's just, it's lovely and it's so dark so early, so four o'clock we're like, right oh, time for bed basically. It's too, too dark to film, so yeah, tomorrow though, it's supposed to not be raining, it's supposed to not You're be... You're still talking, I'm trying to cook dinner for you, let me crack on. Feels like we're in Thailand. And you got the nuts on the top as well. You're so creative, hon. Well, I came in the pack, like, but um. <laughs> I am quite creative, though. Okay. Before we carry on with the video, we'd like to take a minute to thank this week's sponsor, Fiverr. Fiverr is an online marketplace for freelance services. What does that mean? Need help with professional photos? Fiverr, mate. Need help with video editing? Go to Fiverr. Need help with animation? Fiverr! Clive. Fiverr has thousands of freelance services for every project and budget. All right, so how does that work? You find your seller, you book them, and then you get your work. Oh, damn. I need a theme tune for my podcast. No worries, dude. Fiverr to boost our website on Google searches. We found a legend called Adam, told him what we wanted and he delivered it within one week. And the best part was that he sent us a breakdown of exactly what he did step by step. Click the link in the description to browse Fiverr and find the right freelancer for you. Morning lads, today we're going to Pushinish Beach. I don't think that's how you say it, but you're on the right tracks. Hushinish, Hushinish, Hushimeh. So this beach is obviously beautiful, but the main reason why a lot of people go there is the wild highland cows that take over the road. I feel like every time you're driving every down. time you say that you're jinxing us. No, I've got a really good feeling today. The sun's out. It's gonna be a bloody belter. 
So about six miles away from the beach we slept in a really cool spot. We were up on a mountain but the wind was so mental that we had to move and we found a nice little hidden corner. What's that then? It's a big castle. That's, that's what Scotland does best really isn't it? It's like castles. I feel like we're not supposed to be here. No, I don't posh. think we're in the right place either. This is the road to, this is the right way to... Is it? It does say private garden though. We'd only really witnessed Highland cows from a distance and Amy was so desperate to see them that we actually paid for a cow safari to go and see them behind the fence. But it had always been on her bucket list to see the cows roaming the streets freely and be close enough so that she could hug one, if it would let her. Would this be the day? Yes! We've done it! I hate to burst your bubble but they're normal cows. Oh! <laughs> normal cows! Oh, sorry lad, you know you're just not as cool, like I can see you back in Wales, no offence or nothing, you're still gorgeous. There's poo on the road, keep your eyes peeled Craig. It is! Brilliant! Brilliant! And the, sh the sheep just roaming free as well. Oh, it's gonna be love. What do you want to do? Do you want to park my right here? Yeah, pass! Park it up, son! We're getting out! They're right there. There's flipping, there's 20 of them. Their hordes are massive. Buzzing, yeah. Oh, I really am. I'm such a kid. I know I am. I just. They're so amazing to look at and obviously very niche to Scotland. So, watch a poo. Ah, this is my dream. <laughs> I've always wanted to see this. I had this. a dream. You know, like I wanted to see camels in Mongolia. Oh, oh, look at their faces. Good morning, girls and boys. They're incredible. They're absolutely incredible. <laughs> Traffic jam in the Highlands. <laughs> Let the postman through. <laughs> Come on, the Come on, man. So funny. <laughs> They're all shouting at him as well. Gil, yeah, yeah, you're showing off. Just walking down the road in Scotland. Today was the day. Amy was in her element. She told me later that her face hurt from smiling so much. Oh bless her. Okay, I've decided Craig, this one's my favourite. She's gorgeous and she came right up to me and touched my hand. I'm gonna call her Moonshine. How about that? Hey? That's a good one. See what I did? See what I did there? Moonshine. <laughs> Get a picture of me by you so I can send it to my, my mum and dad. <laughs> So here we are, Hush, Hushinish Beach. <laughs> There's actually a park up, which is it's like a mini campsite. There's electrical hookups. So we're parked up with custard here, and there's a donation box over there to put your money in. And um, and these are our neighbours. <laughs> They've all come down from the, up on the hill. Amy's absolutely loving life. <gasps> Best day of my life. Best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all just so docile. Like not that I'm like forcing myself upon them. I just, um, when you walk past, they're just like chewing and just so calm. They don't even mind. Apart from that white one, he's a terror. I was taking photos and he ran at me and I was like, oh, we were supposed to do loads today, but we've been here for hours. <laughs> just watching them and taking photos and, oh, it's just incredible. Just amazing. You love it. This is one of my favorite places on the earth, Craig. <laughs> Oh, definitely. Yeah, this is one hell of a spot. Like the views out to sea are incredible. You can mm. see all the little bays of beaches as well. You can walk over and like over the hill, there's another bay as well. What an incredible place, man. It's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. 
We were so flipping excited by the cows that we completely forgot about the beach just up ahead. We told ourselves we'd visit tomorrow. But little did we know, the next day it was going to be a proper thunderstorm. Toilet duties call again. The worst day for it is outside and it's literally like a storm. Yeah. <clears throat> but this place is so cool. You've got everything you need and you, you just like put your money in a little envelope. Little donation box, hey. yeah? Ugh. I ain't going out there. Just past where we stayed last night, there was like five hookups. It isn't a real campsite. You just get there, first come, first serve, and obviously nobody's here. Um, so you pay your little donation into a box and then just down the road next to the car park for the actual Hishinishini beach is like a great waste disposal, the toilet disposal and fresh water. I was going to wear this fleece today, but I thought it's a bit loud, eh? It's a bit loud. Just sit yourself down. That's a bit loud. But this is a holiday hat, so uh, I'm feeling like if I wear it, maybe, maybe the sun will come out. Maybe, because we're going to a beach next, so brilliant weather for it, brilliant weather. Woo! Oh, I like life. Wet and wild out there. <laughs> and we're right by the beach as well. Obviously we were going to go down this morning, but it's just too wet. But it looks insane. So Craig's realised that there's some kind of meter in there that you pay, like three pounds. So he's doing that. Because we're good tourists, you know? We're responsible. Craig smashed Greg's off when he took his surfboard out. So he's got to go back on. It's our favourite when it's moonshine, everyone! Moonshine. Oh, stop the bus! She's wagging her tail. Oh, bless her, she knows it's us. Moonshine! <laughs> oh, she yeah. There you go. I know. There I go. I mean, I'd offer you in, but <laughs> I just don't think you'd fit. It's not because you're wet or anything. It's just the sheer size of her, you I know? I think she might be pregnant. She's huge. Do you reckon? Yeah, look at her belly. Let's just say tara to them all, because they're all making their way up after their breakfast. Oh, look at them, baby. Oh, sneaky. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. That's it, pull in. Thanks very much. <laughs> Watch your little bum there. <laughs> oh, nice one, nice one. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Ah, I love you. As we were driving down the road, we spotted two dogs that looked a bit lost and a bit wet running down the road. One legged it and one got in on my orders. I'm pretty sure they're farm dogs. Yeah, but they were on the side of the road and he's freezing. He, he just ran out in front of the bus, so. I think he's running by. The, the house must be there, look. Okay, go, go back then. Well, I, I don't know what to do. I'm not letting him go. Craig, he's gorgeous. Keep him in and drive down, though. He's happy to be here, and I'm happy to keep him. Right, sit, sit. Good boy. Good boy, sit there. Where are you from? He's got a collar on, hasn't he? He has got a collar on. Um, could be driving all. Glen Ruad, and then it's got the postcode. The bridge is Gil. You lost. You wet the cold. What are you doing out here? Okay, so we think we found her house. I think her name's Gip. Gip? Gip? Is that you? Is that your name? Is that your house? So Amy's gone to knock the door to see if there's anybody there. Is that your friend? Oh. All right, so we found a, a neighbour who knew Jip, the dog. Yeah. Um, so she's taken her in with a lead and she's going to call the owner to pick her up. <laughs> Honestly, like, I couldn't leave her, bless her. She was freezing and so lovely. She was so cute. So friendly. We had a little photo shoot in here whilst you were gone. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the amount of dogs, like, this year alone, that I've picked up off the street, put in the car, and then had to battle with my own dog at home to try and get them in. <laughs> oh, I just, She's like yeah. her own dog rescue team. I am. I am. I'm like, they'll find their way home, they're not stupid. They're going the opposite way, Craig. <laughs> so I'm glad we took them. So we parked up, and we've come down for a look, but the weather is so horrible. It is not playing ball today. Well, I can imagine when that wind and rain stops, it's stunning here. Incredible, yeah. But yeah, I think we're going to sleep somewhere tonight. 
Tonight, Matthew, we are having some leek and garlic mashed potato oh, sugar. with vegan haggis, yes. broccoli and gravy. There was butternut squash, was taking too long in the oven. Watch this. This looks sensational, Craig. I'm blocking the light there. Oh, I'm blocking the light, so bad. So, what exactly, for the people at home that don't know what haggis is, I can tell you. You don't know. <laughs> it tastes great, but I can tell you what it is. But isn't it cooked like traditionally in the stomach of a lamb? Oh, we don't even know what that. But that is traditional haggis. About to eat my dinner here, babes. <laughs> oh, watch out, guess let's get sure the gravy, man. Get sure that. Get that in slow mo. Go on. That's bloody Marks and Spencer's Christmas shit. That is. Maybe. Draped over some brown gravy granules with some hot water straight from the holding tank. You don't sound well at all. <laughs> Do you want to have a little picture next to the dinner that you made? Shall I take one? If you want, yeah. Uh... Oh, that was really Frame nice. That one. You look really good. Frame that one for my mum. No problem. Should be proud of this. Uh, how long then? It's done. Are you going to say grace or am I? I nah, must do. That mask going to blow your head off. <laughs> haggis, vegan haggis. Oh going my in. days. Super flavoursome, innit? That's what I do, love. You didn't make it. You that's just stuck it in the oven. <laughs> it was prepped to perfection. Ooh, that's really good. And that is it for this week's video. We are going to be staying here for another week, so next week's going to be another Lewis and Harris special. Yeah, there was too much to do in a week. Um, even though, well, particularly because the weather was bad, but um, yeah, there's so much to do. We've decided to space it out over two weeks. So yeah, another week here and then back onto the NC500 for like around Christmas time. I'm excited. We're also battling the weather, so that's part of it as well. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. One, two, three, five. Bye.